Thank you, Jeff, and thank you to all of the EPD staff for being here and all been here tonight. We appreciate it. My name is Gordon Rogers. I'm the riverkeeper for the Flint, and I live in an unknown place called Ypsilanti, Georgia. Um, that's two hours north of here. But we, we represent folks from Metro Atlanta, where the Flint originates, all the way to the Florida line where it joins with Chattanooga to become the Appalachicola. Um, we've been in conversations with Georgia Power for two and a half years now over the situation at Plant Mitchell. And we're quite pleased to hear um, earlier this year, late last year, whenever it was, they announced uh, that they're going to remove the ash from the banks of the plant, get it out of the floodplain, and get it to a, a safer place. That's a great thing. Uh, it's noteworthy, however, that uh, Georgia Power is posting immense losses right now uh, due to their Kemper plant in Mississippi and due to uh, the situation of Plant Bogle where all the shoes have not dropped yet. Uh, and I, if I were uh, President of the Southern Company of the North Georgia Power as the operating unit. I'd certainly be concerned with cost right now, today, any day, even if it was a profitable order. Um, but the, the concern of EPD is not and should not be cost. That's the concern of the PSC, not EPD. And it was quite stultifying and frustrating, as Mr. Woodall indicated, to sit in the hearings. Uh, on the House bills that Jeff Jones from Brunswick introduced that would have addressed this situation and watch Georgia Power basically tell EPD what to do in terms of how to handle the bill. And Jeff, I know you weren't involved in that probably, but uh, it was a very, a very frustrating thing to watch. And it's frustrating now to be faced with a permit that allows for a plan to be written that we'll get to see what's in the plan after Georgia Power and EPD agree what's going to be in it with, with no public comment. Now again, if I were running Georgia Power, that's exactly how I would want it to be. But as a citizen and a user of the Flint, and with the nearly 3,000 folks that we represent, that's unacceptable. And EPD should be uh, putting the parameters of how this order is going to be treated in front of the public now. So that's our primary objection to the draft permit. Um, a secondary objection is that uh, we should, if you can't put the entire plan in front of us, you could at least put in front of us what the uh, concentrations of heavy metals and other pollutants are going to be in the plan in this draft permit. If we can't see all the details of the plan. And I submit that it should be at least as clean as the requirements for the water that comes out of an ordinary wastewater treatment plant from the municipality. Again, we really appreciate this opportunity to comment. I regret that, that Chris has to be here and that we're lawyered up and, and ready to go to the mat on this. Um, but uh, perhaps that's the way it needs to be. Thank you.